Peter Australia have requested the iconic Australian band Hunters and Collectors change their name to, quote, help raise awareness of the cruelty inherent in hunting, end quote. Peter are great at publicity stunts, and this is no different. By attacking a very well-known and respected band, they are sure to get press coverage for their true agenda, and it worked. Peter are a hypocritical bunch of whiners. They oppose people killing animals for food, eating any animal byproducts such as chicken eggs, and using animals for their fur skin or hide. But they have no issue euthanizing animals that nobody wants when abandoned in shelters. Peter Australia do not operate any animal shelters in this country, and probably for good reason when you see the statistics from Peter Shelters in America. Have a look at these statistics from Peter Shelters in the years 1998 to 2010. In those 12 years of operation, only 10.5% of all animals they received were adopted out, and 85.9% or 25,840 animals were euthanised. And as it has been published by the news stories in America, many were then stuffed into garbage bags and discarded into industrial garbage bins. Peter goes to great lengths in America to keep these numbers hidden from the public. But when you compare to the work the RSPCA does in Australia, in 2015 to 2016, 12.9% of dogs they received were euthanised and 29.16% of cats were euthanised. Peter support people becoming full vegans and to the uneducated this may very well seem like a stance that does support the end of animal death. However, in Australia, the production of meat from cows and sheep are primarily done by allowing the animals to graze on natural habitat, which has little effect to native animals cohabitating the same area. But if we all went to a vegan or vegetarian lifestyle, wheat and rice would have to be produced on a great scale. Ploughing pasture land and planting with seeds alone does extensive damage to native ecosystems and kill huge amounts of small mammals and reptiles. Then you have to move on to the pesticides required to maintain such vast quantities of these crops. And lastly, wherever you grow large amounts of wheat, you will always get mice plagues which need to be poisoned, killing thousands. It is estimated that by growing grains over raising cattle for human consumption, that 25 times more sentient animal death would occur. But according to Peter, this is the way to live in harmony with nature. You can find links to the original story about Peter and the Hunters and Collectors, a Huffington Post article detailing the killing of animals in the Peter shelters, and a great article about the deaths of animals caused by producing vegetarian or vegan diets in the description below. And if you would like to see more videos like this in the future, please like, share and subscribe.